Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very special quick message from the Ray and Zina Harryhausen Foundation. I'm filmmaker, author, and trustee John Walsh, and I'm joined by our brilliant collections manager, Mr. Connor Heaney. Connor, hello. Hello, and it's a, it's a very special time of year yet again because it's time to vote in the Rondo Hatton Classic Horror Awards 2024, um, which is a, it's a fantastic way of recognizing your favorite books films and content creators uh, over the past year. And John, we've got some very special nominations in this year's Rondo Awards. We have, Connor, indeed. And when we say very special, we mean us and our friends. So we're going to tell you about the people you most like to vote for. And uh, they include uh, Mike Hanking, Greg Coulon, yourself, Connor, as well. Um, John Landis, who's also been a great friend of the foundation, and myself for a non-Harryhausen book that I have up. So um, what's the first category in numerical order, Connor? And then we'll talk about how best to vote for them. Uh, category 19, best multimedia site for podcasts and videos. Our Ray Harryhausen podcast has been nominated. Um, so if you have enjoyed our podcast or our YouTube videos or our various content on X or Instagram or Facebook, uh, then please consider casting your vote for the Ray Harryhausen podcast. We work hard to share treasures from Ray Harryhausen's archive in audio and video and image form online. And we certainly hope that you've enjoyed that content. And uh, if you have, uh, yeah, cast, cast your vote for uh, Category 19. And now another great friend of the foundation, Mike Hankin, great friend of ours, great friend of Ray Harryhausen's, working on his wonderful magics book, um, books volumes, in fact. And he's been nominated, Connor, hasn't he, in a, in a wonderful writing category? Yes, for now, Article 14, best article. Uh, his article for Infinity Magazine, uh, Finding Lost Horizon. And uh, that's, a, that's a, a lovely look at the making of Frank Capra's 1937 classic. So if you've, been, again, if you've enjoyed the article and Mike Hankin's writing in general, then uh, please consider casting your vote for him. Uh, Mike Hankin um, has done some excellent articles for both Dark Side Magazine and Infinity Magazine. And uh, as always, his research is impeccable. Now, I did an article for Infinity. I didn't get nominated. <clears throat> this was years ago, so... <laughs> Oh, now there is one we want to mention, a very important film category. Arnold Leibovitz has done another wonderful restoration of the Puppetoons, and this is volume three on Blu-ray in high definition, beautifully restored. It's an absolute legendary piece of filmmaking from George Powell. And Connor, what category can we find that in? So that's uh, category four best Blu-ray collection. And yes, it's a, it's a wonderful collection of the puppetoons, which have not been seen for many, many years, including Western Days, which is the first piece of commercial animation that Ray Harryhausen ever worked upon. So there we have something, uh, you know, something special, a treasure and something that, uh, yes, all, all film fans will enjoy. So if you've seen the puppetoons and these wonderful releases that Arnie has put together, then, then please vote for Number four, best Blu-ray collection. So, Connor, you and uh, Greg Coulon and John Landis are going head-to-head -head like uh, Rocky Balboa, Mr. T and Apollo Creed. Tell me what's happening there. Yeah, so for Category 20, uh, best event of 2023, the King Kong at 90 exhibition at Eastern Michigan University. Um, now, this, this was a, a wonderful exhibition marking 90 years of one of the most important movies of all time. It was a real labor of love by curators uh, Tom Sukan and Greg Coulon, our good friend, uh, featuring a lot of very rarely seen material from Greg's collection. And the two were kind enough to invite me over to Michigan to take part in a series of lectures and, uh, and public events uh, celebrating the exhibition uh, of King Kong's influence on Ray Harryhausen 90 years of artistry and stop motion animation. So yes, if you saw that event, if you attended the lectures, or if you enjoyed some of the photography of the exhibition online, then please cast your vote. But as you say, John, we're going to head to head with a, another friend of the foundation, uh, Mr. John Landis, who in the same category was presented with the Vincent Price Award by Victoria Price, uh, Vincent's daughter, at the Hollywood Horror Fest this year. Uh, I'm sure that was a wonderful, e wonderful evening as well. So this is incredible. John Landis, who we love and adore, is going to get an award for getting an award, potentially, which is a nice position to be in. Now, I, I hear on the grapevine that I might be nominated. I'm, I'm 
I'm very embarrassed and shocked to be here talking about awards and nominees. And uh, I'm possibly in a category myself. What what number is that, Connor? Yeah, I'll read this because I know you're shy, John, so I don't mind reading this Quite one. For, for category 11, Book of the Year, nonfiction. Uh, John Walsh's book, The Wicker Man, the official story of the film, uh, published by Titan Books. Um, so, Book of the Year, if you've enjoyed John's Wicker Man book, it's uh, a really great look back at uh, the 1973 classic. Um, John, just, I mean, that book, it's, uh, it's, it's your most recent book, I guess, and it's one that um, has, has been so well received um, since its publication uh, in November 2023, am I right? Yes, that's right. So it's it's really big. People who know how big my head is, look, it's bigger than that. So that that's something that is a big book. And it's full of colour pages and black and white pictures that have never been published before. It's um, book number seven. So it could be lucky number seven for me. I'm very grateful to be nominated this time and for some of the previous books, which you can see behind me here on the shelf. So the Rondo Hassan Awards, it's great to be involved. Of course, it's based on the, the well-known actor Rondo Hassan, who was a character actor and appeared in many great movies. Um, if you want to vote for me, do. There's lots of great books in that category. Please read books. Please buy books. Please talk to your friends about books. If you have got the Wicker Man book and you fancy a free signed book plate, and a limited edition bookmark, Titan have given me a handful more because of the Rondo nomination. So um, just email me here, info at walchbross.co.uk. It's on screen now with a screenshot of your Amazon or Goodreads review. And I'll send this to you for free wherever you are in the world. So get, um, get writing to me for that. And Connor, in terms of the Rondo Awards, it's, I think, 28 categories, but you don't have to vote in every category. You can just choose the ones you want. It can be as few as just one award. Is that right? That's right. If you if you look through the categories, and it can be quite daunting when you're looking through 28 different set selections of, of films and books and events, you can pick whichever ones that have appealed most to you across the, the year 2023-24. Uh, and it's a very simple um, nomination process in terms of submitting your entries. You just have to send an email to um, the organisers um, via their address, which is taraco at aol.com. And you can read the address there at the bottom of the screen. You just need to send an email to David Colton at taraco at aol.com no later than Tuesday, uh, the 16th of April at midnight. Yes, include your name, include your your. Uh, your nominations and uh, that's it that's a very simple process you don't have to you know sign up create a password um, or, or any of these other um you know hoops to jump through you can just send an email for the for the films and books and events that, that you've loved over the past year now we're going to finish off with having a look at the four rondo awards that uh, ray harryhausen himself won connor putting you on the spots here because i can't remember do you remember what the categories were and what ray won them for yeah, so it's uh, Ray Harryhausen and then it subsequently the Foundation have won four Rondo Awards. The first was 2010 um, for Wraith Commentary on Jason and the Argonauts. And there's a lovely picture here you can see of Ray holding his Rondo Award. We were then recognised for the Mythical Menagerie exhibition in 2017. Uh, that was our US exhibition at the Science Museum, Oklahoma. In 2019, the foundation as a whole was was uh, was recognised with the Rondo Award for contributions to horror studies. So that's, I suppose, the Rondo equivalent of the, the Lifetime Achievement Award. And finally, in uh, 2020, Vanessa Harryhausen's book, Ray Harryhausen, Titan of Cinema, was, uh, was the winner of Book of the Year. And that was Vanessa's biography of her father for her centenary year. So it's been it's been fantastic to to have uh, received all of these awards. They stand proudly in Ray's cabinet alongside his other many awards, his his Oscar and his BAFTA and all of these other fantastic recognitions that he received over the years. But the Rondos have done a fantastic job over the years of recognizing writers and filmmaking makers and and uh, content makers um, in in this genre, and it's really excellent. And we really you know, thank them for our awards and nominations to date. We'll get voting, everyone, and uh, and we'll give you an update as to the winners and losers and the tears and tantrums um, maybe in a few weeks' time. But uh, thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.